Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This morning I've been guided to talk about the streams of life. What are the streams of life? As most of you know, energy is flowing through us at all times. But many of us don't know that there's two streams that flow through us, actually. There's a stream that comes down from a higher part of ourselves, but there's also a stream that comes up from the earth, okay? So sometimes when I share information on how I feel the energy on the planet has shifted, it's because I'm tuned into both streams. The stream is coming from the earth that's giving me data, and the stream is coming down from the ethers to give me data. And these streams have different purposes. The stream that comes down, the energetic stream that comes through you from the ethers is inspiration and information and data for you to use, to mold and use, to create with, whether it's to build something, to write poetry, or to whatever your gift is. That stream comes in to inspire you, to give you insight on how to use your gift. The stream that comes up from the earth, from the planet, is a different form of data. It's data that's being fed to you to give you data on where issues are, where there's imbalances that you can feel on the earth. So it's like when that stream comes in to inspire you to create, it is to create something to fix the stream, the issues from the stream is coming up from the earth. So for example, if you're getting stream from the earth about the imbalance, you may be a singer. So you're getting inspiration if you're open from the higher stream to come down for you to write a song to help address the issues that you're receiving from the data coming from the earth to, to attempt to heal and balance those issues through song, through music. Okay? Now, these two streams, the one that comes from the earth up and the one that comes down, you will not be able to tap into this data, once again, if there's a lot of trauma because you're not clear, your heart is numb. If you're not in your heart space, you would not be open enough to get to tap into the stream coming down, the stream is coming up. But once you're open enough, you do enough work so you can feel the more subtle energies of nature. You can use the data coming from the earth and know what to create from the data that's coming down from the ethers. And what happens is you become an assistant to help balance out with the two different forms of data to create something to assist nature in balancing itself because nature is always attempting to balance itself in every situation and we can assist nature in attempting to bring back this balance and when you assist nature nature assists you good morning okay now with that being said from the micro to the macro many of us don't know that there's a new internet called the internet of things that's actually um, it's not mainstream yet, but the Internet of Things is a database that companies are tapping into. So they put sensory um, chips on their machines. So let's say a lumber company. They have all these sensories on their machines, and it feeds data from these machines to let you know how much lumber they're processing or cutting and vice versa. So any, all these different businesses are starting to put these sensories on their machines to feed data to the Internet of Things. Okay? And then we have the internet, which is a data of information that we can use to create. So the reason why I'm talking about the internet of things that's about to be mainstream soon and the internet that we're using now is because those two things represent the two data, data streams I talked about earlier in the physical plane, where I talked about the, the um, stream from the ethers coming down to inspire you to create and the data coming from the earth, giving you data on what to create to help balance based off the data coming from the earth. Well, the Internet of Things represents the data coming from the earth because the Internet of Things is going to be a collection of data that's going to give us insight to how many resources we have that we can use. And then the Internet we're going to use as an information stream to create things based off the data from the Internet of Things based off the physical resource data. You see how it's all mirroring each other, the physical aspect of the two different streams of data? So technology is trying to show us where we need to be. And we have to catch up with technology, okay? Because we are technology as well. 
but because we have chosen to limit ourselves through certain cultural beliefs we have slowed down the process of our evolution so we're to a point now where we're going to have no choice but to speed up our culture to catch up with technology because if we, if we don't the culture will no longer work but these kids that are coming in right now the millennials and the one in the generations that are coming up after millennials they're here to help us speed up culture so we can get on the same time frame of speed as technology so if you want to hold on to these old school aspects of limiting beliefs and limiting ways of doing things you're going to get left behind okay so look out for the internet of things as a matter of fact I'll post the link um, under this video uh, of a guy Jeremy Rifkin who talks about the new internet is going to come out called the internet of things all right so remember do that inner work so you can tap into that stream that's coming through to inspire you to create and also tap into the stream that's coming up from the earth that's giving you data on what you can create to help balance out the imbalances here on the earth good morning good morning okay so open yourself get the data and let's become the conscious creators we were meant to be peace